It's regarded by many European tour professionals as their favorite week of the year, the Alfred Dunhill Championship at Leopard Creek on the banks of the Kruger National Park. One of the winners of the pro -Am tournament was cricket superstar Jacques Cullis. We caught up with him the day after the golf and headed out into the Kruger National Park. Well, it's a good omen as we get going. This is just the entrance to the Kruger National Park and uh, Jake's already first bit of wildlife. Not a bad start. I think um, that bodes well for the future. If we, if we can start off with the, the early at the front gate, yeah, I think we, we've got a good chance of seeing the big five, I think. A great start to our safari and a vivid reminder of the beauty of the African wild. Jacques, what, uh, what does it mean to you to get out into the bush and to, to come into a part of the wild like this? Um, plenty. Yeah. I mean, I, I enjoy the, the relaxed sort of lifestyle. Uh, so every time you come out here, you, you feel like you're in a different world and you know, a couple of days in the bush um, feels like a whole holiday. And it's never long enough. You always think three or four days will be more than long enough and you'll get bored, but you always say, gee, I should have stayed two more days. Quite, uh, quite similar this to uh, a week in Kolkata, so. <laughs> Very much so, yeah. Uh, probably the same amount of people in the bush that they're in. <laughs> but, uh, your great friend Mark Boucher spends a lot of time in this part of the world. Uh, the work he's doing in, uh, in conservation is extraordinary. It is. Uh, he's known as, as Ranger Rare because um, he seems to, well, thinks he knows a lot about the bush, and to be fair, he probably does. He spends so much time in there. But you know what he's done with, with the, the rhinos and then trying to protect them is um, something that's very close to his heart. And you know, I've been involved a little bit with him to, to try and help him out. And, I've had some great stories and some great sightings and some, some fun with that too, you know, to try and protect that wonderful animal that we, we need to protect. You get to come up to Leopard Creek fairly often. Uh, there's a, a golf course you're rather fond of, and it does seem as though golf is starting to nudge cricket out of the way. Very much so. Um, it's not a bad little golf course, that. And um, you see, I come up here quite often. It's, it's never often enough. <laughs> uh, you, uh, you got the membership, if memory serves, for, for getting that first test double hundred. It was, yes. Um, I think it was against Pakistan when the first time I got a message from um, Jan Rupert saying, look, if you get 200, yeah, uh, we'll give you honorary membership. But I, I think I got out for about 160 or something and got in a change room and, and threw my kit all over the place. And I'm not someone that usually did that. And the guys couldn't understand you know, why I did it, and no one really knew. Uh, and then we were playing against India, and he said, um, OK, I've had enough of you not getting 200. He said, uh, last chance, is what he said. And I was sort of handling uh, something overnight, I think, and told Bauchi the story. And then uh, Bauchi never really watched me bat. So the first time he was watching me bat the next day, which was strange, he said, I bored the living daylights out of him. And then got to sort of 183 at lunch. And um, Bauchi had never got me something in his life before. And he ran around that, changed him, looking after me taking my pads, putting them outside, getting me food, and of course I took full advantage of it as well. Because he realised and worked out that if I get membership at Leopard Creek, he can come as my guest and he can play as well, so his method behind his, his madness. And uh, obviously once, he, once I got to 200, he, he celebrated it and uh, didn't watch me bat anymore, went back in, into uh, the change room and, and wasn't interested in me batting, but was happy with the membership. Well, let's take Bradley because we've got some cool giraffe to have a look at. Most people, when asked about the best they've played with or against, the name Cullis comes up very quickly. Uh, who, who are the best Jacques Cullis has played with and against? I suppose over 18, 19 years, you, you play against a lot of good players, and, and there have been some outstanding players. Uh, but there are one or two that I think just stand out, just a touch above, and, and I say only a touch above. For me, it was in the Foss Bowling Department, was he Macrum? Uh, he just had something special about him. Uh, from a spin bowling point of view, Shane Warne, again, just had that, that everything that, that you need to be a, a spin bowler. Um, from a batting point of view, that's a tough one to call. There's been so many greats. Uh, for me, the one that's just a little bit ahead of the rest is Brian Laura. He, he, for me, just had something just a little bit more. Jacques Cullis has a four ball at Augusta. you got three people you get to play with. Who's in that four ball? And I'm busy that day, so it would have to be three. Well, I'd say about you'd have to be one, because um, I suppose you need the cash there to, to buy some drinks afterwards, so I usually take some cash from him. Um, I think Tiger Woods would be another one, uh, the way that, that, that what he's done for, for golf, um, and really put it on the map again. And um, sure, the other one would be oh, a tough one. I suppose someone like a, a Roger Federer, 
uh, dominant at a tennis like that, just you know how they did it. I think for me, I've always been interested to see why certain people dominate in their certain sport. Um, it'll be interesting to see what they did differently to the rest. So basically, two superstars and Boucher. <laughs> A couple of Boucher's mates made for a natural roadblock at the end of our safari, refusing to get out of the way as we attempted to leave the Kruger and delaying the end of a wonderful morning with, quite simply, one of the greatest cricketers ever. Yeah, 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 yeah.